Today I'm going to talk about LifeCircle Plus. The prototype of this system has been created by the team Code Raiders for the purposes of Microsoft Imagine Cup 2011. The system itself will be further developed and deployed by Hilvers. If I were to describe this solution, let's say in one sentence, I would say that it is a revolution as far as blood donation system is concerned. Fortunately, I have a time slot which enables me to elaborate a bit more on that. And actually, as you, have, as you see, I've prepared a 10 minutes presentation, which is going to be about answering three key questions. First of all, why is blood so important? Second of all, what are the problems with the current donation system? And third of all, what is our solution to these problems and how do we want to deploy it? Should you have any further questions, I will be delighted to answer them after the presentation. So, let us start with importance of the blood, which in the US is required once every two seconds. And the single donation has the power to save as many as three lives. However, sometimes victims of critical situations may require up to 50 liters of blood. This liquid is not only for people who've been involved in different types of accidents. It is also vital during planned surgeries or childbirths. It is important for patients at any age to recover from various diseases. And three very important millennium development goals, which are reduction of child mortality rates, improving maternal health, and preventing HIV, cannot be achieved without equipped access to save blood. So let's put it in one sentence. And by the way, this is a quotation from Dracula. The blood is the life, because along with water, it is liquid necessary for our survival. The earthquake in Japan in March 2011 or the recent bacterial E. coli outbreak in Germany have only proved us that even in highly developed countries there might occur shortages as far as the number of blood supplies is concerned. Unfortunately, barely 6% of population regularly donates blood in comparison to 6 out of 10 people who are able to do this. This is caused by the poor social awareness and the lack of knowledge. What is more, blood centers are only able to communicate with donors who they know, who have donated blood in that area. The problem is, people are constantly on the move. If you take me, for example, I am different town approximately twice in a month. So, my local blood center might waste time calling me when I'm far away. On the other hand, blood centers near me don't know me and they cannot utilize my blood neither. This is caused by the existence of only local databases. So, there is no central database, not only for the individual countries, but also for the whole world. The third problem is imbalance of blood types as far as blood supplies are concerned. I am zero positive, like approximately 60% of us in this room. So, if we all go now and donate blood, some amount of it might need to be disposed after its expiry date is reached. On the other hand, if I were zero negative, there might occur serious shortages of my blood type in cases of emergency. In these situations, blood centers need to exchange stocks with other centers. And the current system, which is utterly based on so-called human factor, is simply suboptimal. So, we have four major problems with blood donation system nowadays. Our solution deals with all of them. How? First of all, we took care of donors, these regular as well as potential ones. For them, we've prepared an amazing mobile app, which enables to browse events related to blood donation, confirm participation to one or more of them, or to locate the nearest blood center. We also have this very cool rankings and achievement system, which makes the idea even more attractive for the younger generation. The most important is, however, integration with social networks. This way, we enable user of LifeCircle Plus to promote the idea on his Facebook wall and automatically spread the word about our solution. This is, of course, a kind of viral marketing 
which we purposely apply here. And as far as Facebook is concerned, we have also another cool apps available straight from our fan page. One of them is a Hall of Fame of Donors, which is a possibility for regular donors to compete with each other. The grand prize with this competition, depending on the number of competitors, can be hundreds, thousands, or millions of saved people's lives. And now you may think, oh my god, another guy's worshipping Facebook. Please notice, however, that we are using this as a tool, as one of possible platforms, to bring serious and important issues in a very approachable way. So, currently we utilize its potential, which is about 750 millions of users, who spend more than 700 billions of hours per month using it. Wondering how much is 7 billions, 700 of billions? Imagine that this one hour is worth one dollar. Having this, I could buy a bottle of Coke, a two liters bottle of Coke, for each person on this planet on a weekly basis for a year. So this is the potential we want to utilize. And do you remember other problems? For instance, the problems with blood transport. Our solution deals with it. Using the power of cloud computing, we are able to predict how much blood is needed and where. Our system takes into account number of casualties, their blood types, location of blood centers, and nearest hospitals, and plenty of other variables, which are important here. This way, we can optimize blood transport and maintain the proper blood balance in each blood center. And the mobile app, I mentioned at the very beginning. Some of its functionality bases on geolocation, which enables a user to share information about his position with our system. Therefore, blood centers know exactly how many users are on the area, and in cases of emergency, they might call selected ones and invite them for an emergency donation. This is possible thanks to the client software, which is going to be installed in blood centers and hospitals. And because of the nature of this functionality, we have a very cool code name for it, namely Red Alert. And the principle is presented in this quick animation. So, what problems are we trying to solve here? Low number of donors? Lack of central database, imbalance of blood types, and lack of optimal blood transport. Facebook apps, along with mobile application, are devoted to promote the idea of blood donation. Solution located in the computing cloud gives us possibility to optimize the blood transport and to maintain its proper level in each center. It also introduces a global database. And the Software for blood centers and hospitals enables proper management of blood donors. Currently, we have a mobile app designed for Windows Phone 7 platform. Client software can be installed on any Windows PC. And we have applications for Facebook users. All modules are bound together using the power of cloud computing. This enables us to easily scale our solution. Our system is opened to various mobile platforms, other operating systems, as well as other social networks. It is also easily extendable in different dimensions. So we've created a reusable platform and afterwards dedicated system out of it. But this is the end of the geek talk I have for you for today. Let me better talk about people who brought that idea into life. The system. The prototype has been prepared by the team code raiders for the purposes of Imagine Cup 2011. Four representatives are sitting here together with us in this audience. Guys, could you stand up so everyone can see you? Thank you for that. The system will be further developed and deployed by Hilvers. And this could be a point where I could talk about feasibility, some business statistics, and other stuff which is probably not so important to you. So, instead of it, I have a slide containing a very cool animation which outlines the most important features of LiveCircle Plus. This takes 77 seconds, so after this time I will be back.
I like this animation, I really do. FYI, it's available on YouTube if you want to see that again. I would like to roll that once more, but then I will definitely exceed the time expectations I've provided you at the very beginning. And I have, sorry for that. But what is most important is that during this presentation, about 200 liters of blood have been utilized in the United States to save people's lives. 68 liters in Poland. So, as I've mentioned at the very beginning, 60% of us can be regular donors. And at least every third person in this room will require at least one life-saving transfusion at least once in his or her life. So, it is you who might save people's lives. And it is also you who might require this blood one day. Therefore, please feel already invited to join the Life Circle Plus. Thank you very much, guys, for your attention. Thank you.